He's back. Welcome in to this special at-home edition of Patriots Today by Chad Sports as the New England Patriots have traded for J.C. Jackson to make his return to Foxborough amid the injury to Christian Gonzalez. Welcome in to Patriots Today. Tyler Jones here to break down this trade and the move to bring J.C. Jackson back to New England. Jackson was a part of the Patriots from 2018 to 2021. Went off to the Chargers for a couple of years. Now he's back uh, where he had a very good run with the Patriots previously. Winning a Super Bowl with second team All-Pro, Pro Bowler in 2021. And the Patriots, they make this deal. Get you the trade details here. This is courtesy of uh, Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network reporting this this morning. Uh, that the Patriots and Chargers will swap uh, 2025 sixth and seventh round picks uh, to make this trade happen to get J.C. Jackson back. <laughs> now, this trade tells me a couple of things for the New England Patriots here. They may be one in three, but they're not throwing in the towel on the season, despite uh, a lot of concerns, right? Mac Jones not playing well last week. Matthew Judon's going to be out for a you know considerable length of time. Christian Gonzalez is going to be out for a bit, it looks like. Even with all that said, this team is not tanking. They're not just going to throw in the towel in the season. They're trying to salvage this with what they can. And uh, it also tells me Christian Gonzalez probably not going to be back for a bit. Uh, and the Patriots were already uh, a little shorthanded at that corner spot as is. But now you bring in J.C. Jackson. You don't give up a ton for J.C. Jackson to make this deal happen. To me, I really like this for the New England Patriots uh, with all things considered. With these circumstances of where New England is at, with needing the corner help, with getting a player like J.C. Jackson, not having to give up a ton for him either. To me, this is a win-win for New England uh, to bring in J.C. Jackson and to get this deal done. What is your one-word reaction to the Patriots trading for J.C. Jackson? Give me your one word in the comment section and let us know what it is. My one word is stellar. This is a stellar move by Belichick. I know that he's been heavily criticized uh, a lot, and rightfully so, for some of the decisions he's made and uh, with trades and signing and draft picks over the last couple of years. But this one, to me, makes a ton of sense for the New England Patriots. If they're all in on this year, which appears they are, uh, to go ahead and go through with this and not give up a ton to bring in J.C. Jackson either. I like this for New England. This is a stellar move, folks. Folks, this is why you subscribe to Patriots Today by Chat Sports as we bring you daily New England Patriots coverage here on the channel. We are closing in on 6,000 subscribers. We're just around 100 away from reaching that milestone. I was just about getting ready to head to work, but... This news broke, and I said, we got to bring you a video as quick as we can. So I'm still at home. I'm in my pajamas. Subscribe now for daily Patriots coverage, and we can bring you more at-home videos like we have today. If when there's breaking news, you know we're going to talk about it here on the channel. Subscribe now for free. Help us reach that 6,000 subscriber mark. If you love the New England Patriots, this is the channel for you. We're doing these breaking news videos, daily news and rumors. Uh, we got live shows, mailbags, watch parties, and more. If you love the New England Patriots, this is the channel for you. Subscribe now. Let's get to 6,000 subscribers today. I believe we can make it happen. All right. J.C. Jackson, we uh, mentioned previously, uh, played in New England from 2018-2021, uh, most recently with the L.A. Chargers. And what has gone on since he left the New England Patriots? Well, uh, that's what we're here to tell you about. Let me go over some statistics for you, and I got some PFF numbers as well. J.C. Jackson has not played a ton of football since he left the uh, New England Patriots. Uh, you go back to 2022, last year, he played in just five games, uh, had a total of 15 tackles, uh, two pass breakups, did not uh, do much at all in uh, those five games that he did play. So far this year, He's played in two games. He's got three tackles, three pass breakups, and he's got one interception uh, going for him. So uh, not a huge sample size of J.C. Jackson since he left New England, since he joined the L.A. Chargers uh, to work with there. So for him, this is probably a much-needed fresh start, a new opportunity. 
and with the Chargers where they're struggling right now, uh, J.C. Jackson, this doesn't change for him of a team on the outside looking in to try to make a push of some sort. So for J.C. Jackson, uh, this is a, a good situation for him to make his way back to New England. The numbers, uh, let's go through those statistics for you, courtesy of Pro Football Focus and what his grades stack up. If you recall, that last season in New England, back in 2021, he was spectacular, right? We mentioned he was a second-team All-Pro, a Pro Bowler and all that. J.C. Jackson was really good. And his numbers, according to PFF, that season were unbelievable with a defensive grade of 82.6, coverage grade of 83, run defense grade of 75.8, Pass rush grade of 54.2, tackling grade of 46.8. But since then, in these small sample size, and I think that's, you know, all relative, right? Um, he has not looked like the same player that he was when he was in New England. You go back to last season, in those five games that he played, his coverage grade went from 83 down to 28.1. Uh, his overall defensive grade went from 82.6 to 28.7. Run defense grade went from 75.8 to 53.4. And his tackling grade went from 46.8 to 38.8. So not only did we see J.C. Jackson fall off in every single category from 2021 to 2022, we saw a significant fall off in all those categories. Now, his numbers have been better this year. Coverage grade of 47.1. Defensive grade of 48.2, run defense grade of 55.1, and a tackling grade of 37.7. But those aren't necessarily good numbers either. So the Patriots here, to me, this is a gamble uh, worth taking on. We knew the Patriots had some cash to spend so they could afford to take this on and make it happen. They need help at the corner position. New England's desperate. And look, this Patriots team, where they stand at 1-3 and three right now, with the issues on the offense, after Mack not playing well, and you know the offensive line, of course, having its fair share of issues, the way the New England Patriots, if they're going to make a push and get to the postseason this year, is by their defense and having one of the best defenses in football. And without Matthew Judon, without Christian Gonzalez, you need other guys to step up and you need to carry that load. And so what I see with Belichick here, with making this move is he says, we're going to tighten up that defense. We are not going to back down, and we're going to continue to be a defensive football team first and find our way to the postseason through our defense. He's going to keep that up, and that's what this move with J.C. Jackson says the Patriots are doing here. So uh, I like it. Makes a ton of sense for the Patriots of where they're at, trying to salvage this season while they can. It's going to be crucial to see what they can put together against the New Orleans Saints this week. If you don't win this week, it is going to be a long road ahead to try to still salvage this season and make the postseason. Trade, grade the trade for me in the comments section. A, B, C, D, or F, what do you think of this move by New England to bring in J.C. Jackson and get this done? Grade it for me, A, B, C, D, or F, and let me know. I, I like it. Um, to me, th this is about as good as you could have done uh, amid the circumstances here. I'm going to go in A for this trade. Uh, give me your grade in the comments section. Let me know what you think of this move by New England to go ahead and bring back J.C. Jackson to New England. Uh, chime in. Let us know your grade, what you think of this move by New England to go this route here with uh, J.C. Jackson. Uh, New England brings in J.C. Jackson back to the fold. Uh, we'll see how this affects this team. I would expect him to play pretty quickly. Um, you know, it's the same defense that he was here last time. So, uh, all things considered, watch out for him. We'll see what he can do. And uh, this Patriots team going to be a very long road ahead to try to get back to where they want to be and uh, you know try to be in that playoff contention mode. This week's going to be an interesting test against New Orleans. We'll uh, continue to talk about it on the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe to Patriots today as we try to get towards 6,000 subscribers. We're getting very, very close to reaching that milestone. We're bringing you daily Patriots coverage. When they make a move, we stop whatever we're doing. We talk about it here on Patriots Today. That's how it rolls around here. Um, we got some exciting stuff coming up the next few days. We had a great watch party last weekend. Uh, so uh, definitely want to check that out. And uh, we certainly appreciate you guys for all you do to subscribe to Patriots Today for our coverage that we're bringing you each and every day. And uh, we will see you next time. JC Jackson, back to New England. There you have it.
Thanks for joining us. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on Patriots Today.